So while the 2K community itself is not the biggest, it has been the starting point on YouTube of a lot of absolutely massive, and I repeat massive creators. Like AMP, the one of the biggest groups, obviously Kai Sinat wasn't a 2K YouTuber, but AMP, the group that he is a part of, mainly were 2K. I am Davis, Phantom, Agent Double Zero, and Duke Dennis all started from 2K. Aiden Ross started from 2K. One of the biggest booming creators in terms of shorts right now. Jesser started off with 2K as Jesser the Laser. And Lance, it's also where I show speed started. It is a community where there is definitely a ceiling when it comes to making 2K content. However, making 2K content has been the entry point for a lot of the biggest creators. But to say the community and to say everything about this game is not toxic is an understatement. It might be the most toxic community in all of gaming. And that includes League of Legends, lads. That is how bad 2K can be at its worst. And one thing that has happened now for a second time, lads, is a content creator faking their own death, which is something that is absolutely crazy. Unlike in 2020, when it was done by Neon, guy who called himself Ronnie 2K's son, it's very, very clear that Neon was a kid. And yeah, is it right for a 15 year old to do that? Of course not. Of course not. But obviously he got enough criticism for that. It's been years, the guy's an adult now, and I, well, he hasn't faked his death since 2020. It's one of those situations where you're like, yeah, this is really bad, but looking back and you're like, okay, this guy's only a kid. Will he, has he learned from it? I don't know, but at least he, he was given kind of the opportunity to learn from it. However, what happened a couple of days ago was absolutely crazy. So a YouTuber called Elite Joe ended up getting, well, basically he faked his death and then he got a girl, his girlfriend to confirm that he had passed away from having a seizure, which is absolutely crazy. But it turned out that it was entirely made up and fabricated. So how was he caught and how was he caught within one day of faking his death. Because let's be real, a lot of us watch Sunny V2, we've all heard the story of the Team Fortress 2 player faked his own death and came back years later. So lads, the genius himself, after faking his own death, decided to keep his snap maps turned on, with multiple people in the 2k community added on Snapchat. So they could clearly see that he was logged onto his Snapchat and in his home. That is how he got caught. I got mad calls from people that had my number and text. So I was like, all right, bro, like this shit is getting really annoying. So then I realized my snap map was on and I got a couple people on Snapchat from 2K. So I turned off my snap map, whatever, whatever. And then I'm getting these DMs because my old Twitter got hacked. Joe Good got hacked. So I have my notifications on because I don't really look on my iPad. And I see in Mal's chat, everybody's talking about me. So I'm like, fuck, what do I do? Because they see, like, I, they saw me that I viewed it. So, um, I said it was my girlfriend. And then I called one of my ex ex-girlfriends. And then I was like, yo, say this and that. And then she recorded a video and I really sent that shit out. I mean, honestly though, bro, like... Shit was not for clout. I could give a fuck less, bro. I could give a fuck less about a follower on Twitter. I don't even go on Twitter anymore. This is my first time being on Twitter in like two weeks. I don't care. You can call me a weirdo, dog. And the second he got called out for a question, he folded like that, lads. He folded so, so quickly. He then ended up releasing a video trying to clear his name in some way. And lads, it just left more questions than answers. What's up, y'all? I'm Joe, kid who faked his death like a fucking weirdo. But um, I just wanted to come on here for one last time because I'm not doing this Twitter shit no more. Like, I'm, I'm done with it. It's fucking weird. Um, I didn't want clout from this. I didn't want, like, Neon answering it. Like, he's tweeting about it. Uh, IQ contained... A bunch of people that don't even know I exist, you know, like, I used to watch when I was little, littler, um, play the game, like, it's just not, like, what I wanted, I just, I didn't want clout, I wanted to be, like, one of the best, that's really all I wanted for, I didn't expect any clout from this, 
I didn't expect my name to be all over Twitter for some stupid shit like that. But, um, yeah, that's my bad. Um, stupid decision by me. Everybody has a stupid decision once in their life. But, Genuinely, I have no idea what he was trying to say in this video because at the end of the day He didn't explain anything. He said I don't want to do this for clout and then proceeded in the next sentence to say I just want to be on top so I'm not quite sure how fake your own death is gonna help you get on top, but each to their own but Then Obviously some other stuff happened the 2k community is toxic and went way way too far but I just really have to make this clear. Like, if the guy didn't want any of like the repercussions, he shouldn't have faked his own death. Obviously, 2K community completely in the wrong. They go overboard when it comes to absolutely everything. But at the end of the day, there's gotta be some consequences for faking your own death online. And I don't think the guy realizes just how bad it is. Because he is known in terms of 2K community. It's not like he's the biggest creator ever. But he had fans. He had friends in the community. He had people that probably legitimately were sad after seeing that. In the Neon situation, people realized straight away that the guy was faking it. It was really, really clear. But in this one, had it not been for the whole Snapchat situation, I'm not sure people would have figured it out. Especially when his girlfriend backed up the story that he had passed away. So this is something that I'm just looking at and thinking like, this is crazy, this is a crazy situation. This is not something that is even an isolated situation in 2K. And I don't know what he was trying to gain out of it, but what he did gain out of it was nothing. He gained nothing. Yeah, a few people, a few more people know who Elite Joe is. He'll be forgotten about in two or three days. And he'll be a footnote in 2K streaming as, do you remember that guy who faked his own death? Anytime he goes on stream, this is not really a situation that you can really get over. You boot up stream, someone's mentioning that. So, I don't know. Whether he did it for clout or not, the quote of him wanting to be on top, no matter how great a creator is, that's done. Those days are done. But at the end of the day, I hope that any sort of that this is a, lear a lesson learned, I guess, because it's gonna be tough for him to come back, but it's not like his career is completely over. It's not like he physically harmed anybody. I mean, I've seen worse things than this people bounce back from, but it's unlikely. It's unlikely. What's more than likely gonna be the case is we never hear from Ali Joe again. I never heard of him until two days ago, and I'm big in the 2K community for the last five years. We're probably never going to hear about this guy again. Which is kind of unfortunate for him because it's clear that was what his goal was with this whole thing. Again, I, I don't understand why somebody thinks, I want to get clout, let me fake my death. But he did. And regardless of what I'm saying, talking about struggling, talking about his mental health, obviously don't give the guy a hard time. There's got to be some consequences for this. And if those consequences are him just being a side note and everyone associating him with faking his death, that's probably getting off lightly. So anyway, yeah, that is pretty much it, lads. That is the video. A crazy situation, but if you want to hear about basically a guy that 2K despised, a guy that 2K hated, I will leave an annotation on screen for Jack Bill, the most hated 2 or player the most hated YouTuber by not only 2K themselves, but by the entire 2K community. So if that's the video, thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.